Shalom, shalom, Yasha Ella. This is Zechariah 12, possibly through 14, we'll get. And the message of the word of Yahuwah against Yasha Ella. Yahuwah stretching out the Shamayim and laying the foundation of the earth and forming the spirit within him declares. So you see a little flat earth there. The Shamayim has been stretched out like a tent over the foundation, the flat foundation of the earth. It's like a tent. It's like a tabernacle. It's a dome. Shalom. See, I am making Yerushalayim a cup of reeling to all the people all around. And also against Yahuda. It is in siege against Yerushalayim. And in that day it shall be that I make Yerushalayim a very heavy stone for all the peoples. All lifting it are severely injured. And all the nations of the earth shall be gathered against it. In that day, declares Yahuwah, I shall smite every horse or every vehicle with bewilderment and its rider with madness. And on, on the house of Yahuda I open my eyes, but every horse of the peoples I smite with blindness. So what I've been really looking into for quite a while and believing for quite a while, Yasha Ella, is that all the nations of the earth in the end times will be deceived to take the mark of the beast, right? Like it says in uh, the book of Revelations. They will worship the beast, like it says in the book of Revelations, which is the fallen angel. So there are people right now making contact with aliens, they think. And these aliens are pretty much telling them that there's good aliens and bad aliens. And the good aliens bring Luciferian enlightenment. And the bad aliens want to basically restrict um, that Luciferian enlightenment. So this will cause all the Gentiles to gather against the people of Yahuwah. And we know that the people of Yahuwah might be gathered to the wilderness first. And then possibly they might be taken to Yerushalayim at some point by the Malachs or angels. So at some point there might be a war against the people of Yahuda and the 12 tribes and those that have joined onto those 12 tribes. So let's continue. And the leaders of the Yahuda shall say in their heart, the inhabitants of Yerushalayim are a strength to me through... Yahuwah of hosts, their Elohim. In the day I make leaders of Yahuda, like a fire pot among trees, and like a torch of fire in the sheaves. And they shall consume all the peoples all around, on the right and on the left. And Yerushalayim shall dwell again in her own place, in Yerushalayim. And Yahuwah shall save the tents of Yahuda first, so that the comeliness of the house of Dawid and the comeliness of the inhabitants of Yerushalayim would not become greater than that of Yahuda. In that day, Yahuwah shall shield the inhabitants of Yerushalayim, and the feeble among them in that day shall be like Dawid, or Daud, and the house of Daud like Elohim, like the messengers of Yahuwah before them, like angels. And it shall be in that day that I seek to destroy all the Gentiles that come up against Yerushalayim. And I shall pour on the house of Dawid and on the inhabitants of Yerushalayim a spirit of favor and prayers. And they shall look upon every and, and they shall look upon even whom they pierced, and they shall mourn for him. This is Yahushua, because they in fact put Yahushua to death at one time, the descendants of Yahuda. As one mourns for his only son, and they shall be in bitterness over him as a bitterness over the firstborn. In that day the mourning in Yerushalayim is going to be great, like the mourning at Hadad Rimon, in the valley of Midiagadon. And the land shall mourn, every clan by itself, the clan of the house of Dawid by itself, and their women by themselves. The clan of the house of Nathan by itself. And their women by themselves. And it continues on. Louis and Shimeon. So it continues. 
all the rest of the clans, every clan by itself, and their women sh by themselves. In that day a fountain shall be opened for the house of Dawid and for the inhabitants of Yerushalayim. And we know that fountain might be the living water that brings righteousness, the energy, the spirit of Yah. Because it will do away, it will be for sin and for uncleanliness, it will do away with those things, wash them away. And it shall be, in that day declares Yahuwah of hosts, that I cut off the names of the idols from the earth, and they shall be remembered no more. And I shall also remove the prophets and the unclean spirit from the earth. All the fallen angels, all their power, they're running rampant right now, and they shall be removed. Hala Yahuwah. And it shall be, when one prophesies again, then his father and mother who brought him forth shall say to him, you shall not live because you have spoken falsehood. So there will be no false prophets. Okay? There will be no... no. We won't allow that anymore. We won't, we won't allow the filth on the earth in the millennial reign of Yahushua. O sword, awake against my shepherd, against the man who is my companion, declares Yahuwah of hosts. Smite the shepherd. This is talking about when Yahushua was put to death on the stake. And let the sheep be scattered. This is talking about the 12 tribes being scattered to the four corners. And Yahuda when he was uh, cast into Africa and other places. But I shall turn my hand upon the little ones. And it shall be throughout all the soil, declares Yahuwah, that two thirds therein are cut off and die. And one third is left therein. Alright, so this could be after the, the sheep have been scattered. And this could be in the last days that the two-thirds of Yashar Allah that don't receive the truth and don't repent are cut off from the earth. Or it could be when uh, 70 AD, when Yerushalayim was destroyed by Rome. And maybe two-thirds died then, or maybe it's both. Alright, and I shall bring the third into fire and refine them as silver is refined. This could be when we're brought into the wilderness. And we go through tribulation. And try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I shall answer them. I shall say, this is my people. While they say, Yahuwah is my Elohim. See, a day shall come for Yahuwah. And your spoil shall be divided in your midst. See, now I think this is talking about, it bounces back and forth a lot. Or maybe it does. If I'm understanding this right, and I may not be, but I'm trying, Yasha Ella, and I ask the spirit of Yah be with me. But what I'm saying here is that this could be bouncing back to 70 AD. And um, it says, I shall gather all the Gentiles to battle against Yerushalayim. And if you think about it, Rome was a, really a collective a group of people um, composed of many nations that was in Rome. And at one point in 70 AD, they did uh, take out Yerushalayim. And the city shall be taken, the houses plundered, and the woman ravished. Half of the city shall go into exile, Africa. But the remnant of the people shall not be cut off from the city. That could be the modern day Palestinians. And Yahuwah shall go forth, and he shall fight against those Gentiles. Now we're back into the future here. As he fights in the day of battle. So the same Gentiles, Rome is still in control, and the Gentiles are all mixed up. You got Edom in Rome, and you got all the nations just kind of blended all together nowadays, possibly. And in that day his feet shall stand upon the Mount of Olives. This is when Yahushua does return. And this is referenced in other scriptures in the New Testament and other scriptures. Which faces Yerushalayim on the east, and the Mount of Olives shall be split in two. From east to west, a very great valley, and half of the mountains shall move toward the north, and half of it towards the south. And you shall flee to the valley of my mountain, for the valley of the mountains reaches to Etzel. And you shall flee as you fled from the earthquake in the days of Uzziah, sovereign of Yahuda. And Yahuwah, my Elohim, shall come, all the Kodeshim, or set apart ones, and saints with you. 
And in that day it shall be that there is light, that there is no light, and it is dark. And it shall be one day which is known to Yahuwah, neither day nor night, but at evening time there shall be light. And in that day it shall be that living waters flow from Yerushalayim, half of them towards the eastern sea, and half of them towards the western sea in the summer as well as in the winter. And Yahuwah shall be sovereign over all the earth in that day, as Yahushua reigns, basically. Yahuwah is sovereign. And in that day there shall be one Yahuwah, and his name one. Hallelujah. This is talking about Yahushua and Yahuwah being one. All the land shall be changed into a desert plain from Gibbon to Rimon, south of Yerushalayim. And shall be raised up and inhabited in her place from Benjamin's gate to the place of the first gate and the corner gate. And from the tower of Hanaela to the winepress of the sovereign. And they shall dwell in her. And there shall be no more utter destruction, but Yerushalayim shall be safely inhabited. And this is the plague with which Yahuwah plagues all the people who fought against Yerushalayim. Their flesh shall decay while they stand on their feet, and their eyes decay in their sockets, and their tongues decay in their mouths. So all these people that are deceived by the fallen angels who take the mark of the beast, the AI and all that, and they're told to fight against Yahuwah and his chariots, they will be evaporated, Yashrela. And it shall be in that day a great confusion from Yahuwah is among them, and every one of them shall seize the hand of his neighbor, and his hand rise up against his neighbor's hand. And Yahuda shall fight at Yerushalayim as well. See, right now the Gentiles are trampling down the nation of Israel and uh, Jerusalem and that land over there. But it says, Yahuda shall fight at Yerushalayim as well. And the wealth of all the Gentiles round about shall be gathered together, gold and silver and garments in great quantities. So also is the plague on the horse and the mule and on the camel and on the donkey and on all the cattle that are in those camps as this plague. And it shall be that all who are left from all the Gentiles which came up against Yerushalayim shall go up from year to year to bow themselves to the sovereign Yahuwah of hosts and to celebrate the festival of Sukkot. And it shall be that if anyone of the clans of earth does not come up to Yerushalayim to bow, Yahuwah of hosts will not give them rain. So... There's really a lot in there. Uh, yeah, Shreya. There's a lot in there. But I think some uh, key points here is that at some point, at some point, whether it was 70 AD when the nations came to fight against Jerusalem, or if the bride is taken to the wilderness and then brought back to Jerusalem. Yerushalayim, right before uh, Messiah returns and stands on the Mount of Olives, um, at some point the Gentiles gathered against Yerushalayim to fight, and it's and it's oftentimes prophecy is very circle, you know, like is a, a circle; it repeats itself. So in 70 A.D., yes, many nations through Rome came to fight against the people of Yerushalayim. And they scattered into Africa and other places. But maybe in the last days, the people, all the nations, will be unified under this Mark of the Beast system. And will try to fight against the bride, whether that be in the wilderness, like it kind of speaks of in Revelations. Or if somehow they're gathered gathered to Yerushalayim, um, possibly maybe the... Angels of Yahuwah will destroy Yerushalayim and the Antichrist and the, third, the false third temple that they put up and bring the real people back. And then maybe the, all the nations will come against them. And then the final uh, grand finale, you know, Yahushua comes and evaporates them. And and then this, this scripture here, it says, Yahuda shall fight at Yerushalayim as well. And the wealth of the Gentiles 
round about shall be gathered together. So maybe Yahuda, the black Hebrew Israelite Yahuda clan, will actually go through the land of Israel we know right now and take out all the Gentiles that are uh, chipped with the mark of the beast and who hate Yahuwah and his chariots and who have been taught by the fallen angels in the future to hate Yahuwah and his chariots and his true people. So this is a very deep scripture, but in my heart of hearts I know in some way, in some shape, in some form, Zechariah will come to pass. And the true people and the true house of Yashrela and the Gentiles that have grafted in and kept the commandments, we all shall take the kingdom. Hala Yahuwah and Shalom.